Hi guys, I'm Isaac, I am Chef Dev, and today we're going to be filling in the rest of our video settings. Um, I'm talking about FXAA, MSAA, and V-Sync. So the first one, MSAA, stands for multi-sample anti-aliasing. Uh, it's sort of that, you know, 2, 4, 8, 16 kind of setting that you get in most games. It just sort of helps smooth out those edges and make them look less jaggy. FXAA is fast approximate anti-aliasing, which is uh, sort of just a, a faster way or a cheaper way of doing it. Um, it's just a checkbox, so you don't get a slider for this one. Uh, so we're gonna put that in as well. And lastly, V-Sync, which helps line up the frame rate with the refresh rate of the computer screen to prevent tearing. Okay, so. The first thing we'll do, we've got this familiar scene that I've been working on. I'm going to come up here and just add, oh, you'll also notice that I've added a spatial scene with some models that I've made in previous projects, just some computer CRT screens and whatnot. Uh, textures are a bit weird, but they're just there to sort of help communicate the point because it's hard to demonstrate without a 3D scene to work on. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come to options and we're going to add another H box, just to help keep things organized again. And this one's going to be the FXAA container. And we'll add in a label and we'll add in a checkbox. Checkbox is what it's called. Um, and the label, we'll call it FXAA capitals space. Um, and the checkbox, uh, no text, because I've already written it beside it. If you, if, if you ever want to, by the way, you can just write like in here, it'll just show up on the other side. So it's just a personal preference thing. Maybe there's a way to control that as well. Not too sure. Doesn't really matter though. So we're gonna have that. That's nice and easy. We'll just leave that for now and we'll go and make the next one, which is going to be our v vertical sync. I'll just put in another. In fact, why don't I just duplicate this? because you can just press Control D now and duplicate nodes. And I'll just change this to the V-Sync. Fucking spell V-Sync container, no spaces, because that just makes all sorts of problems. Um, I'll change my label to say V-Sync. V-S-Y. Okay, and then the checkbox is the checkbox. And then last but not least, um, I'll duplicate it again and call it my MSAA. Same thing again. No boring, you can probably just skip ahead if you've set these up already. I'm gonna delete the checkbox because this is actually gonna be a slider. I will make it a H slider. Okay, so the size flags will make it expand so it just takes up the entire screen. Um, it's editable, it's scrollable. The tick count is going to be four. I like to put them on borders, but that's, you know, a preference thing. Um, the min value will be zero and the max value is going to be four and the steps going to be one. So, and we can just start the value on zero because I'm fairly certain this project is just set up to be um, MSA disabled, right? So MSAA, you don't set the value like two, four, 16. Uh, you have an enumerator to work with, 0 to 4, and it sets the amount for you. So, max value 4 here. Okay. So, now we just need to connect up the signals. Um, I'm going to rename these checkboxes as well while I'm at it, just to help me keep organized. And make the code more readable. V-Sync check MSAA slider okay so the node that we need to do is just toggled we're going to connect that up and I'm just going to go through and connect up all these signals for the slider we're going to want value change with the value and we'll just connect that up as well okay so now that we've got all of our uh, signals here we can start working on that I've only got two looks like I missed v-sync okay so we've got uh, 
fairly simple code to implement here. So for, let's just start uh, at the top here, FXAA. Uh, we just need to get the viewport first thing and then just set use FXAA and just pass it on the uh, bull from the, from the signal. That's it. That's all you have to do for that. Nice and easy. I'll skip down to VSync as well because it's also a single line. Um, we just need to use os.setUseVsync. VSync. I think it's called S Y N C K. And then we're just going to pass on that same Boolean. And that's those two done. MSA is a little bit different. So with MSA A, all we need to do is type get viewport dot set msaa and then pass on that value and that's it so one thing i've had to do here is just spread these out a little bit so it's a little bit um easier to see everything going on uh, and I've got this animation. Uh, I might make it a little bit longer because they're kind of like flying around the screen a little bit, which I don't really like. So bear with me a second. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so we've got these floating computers and we'll just turn on FXA and hopefully you can just sort of tell what that does. Everything sort of gets a little bit blurry around the edges. Um, MSAA, you should see a similar kind of thing, but better. Now I will get an error where it says render target allocate MSAA must be greater than or less than or equal to GL max samples falling back to GL max samples equals eight. Now from what I've researched, this is actually related to your hardware. So um, maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe someone's got the answers in, in, in the comments, but from what I understand that does relate to your hardware and, um, you just have to deal with it. You'll get that error if you try to go over. So that's 16, obviously, uh, mine can only go to three. Um, FXAA, you generally don't want to have that on when you've got MSAA. It's just a faster way of doing the same thing. Uh, the Godot docs does recommend turning on sharpness. So, what you can also do, I guess, uh, is under here, where you're doing that, you can go get viewport dot set sharpness intensity, and you can set it to something like 0.5 when that's turned on. And we'll also need to check if button, if button pressed, set sharpness intensity, and then We'll set the alternative to be zero. So apparently that helps. Um, I've never tried it, so I'm about to see. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's really up to you whether or not you want to include that. I can see sort of around these edges of the Apple II sort of get a lot smoother, but they are still blurry. Um, so it's something you can use. Um, this obviously MSAA looks way better. And then, and with VSync off, so I don't know if that's going to be visible. I, yeah, honestly, I can't see it making a difference, but this scene is fairly low impact. So, okay. So the other thing that we need to do is obviously it's the same as last time these settings need to be sort of checked at startup. So we're just going to grab them all on ready var. We'll call it vsync toggle is equal to dollar sign vsync check on ready var fx AA toggle is equal to dollar sign fx AA check ready for uh, MSAA slider is equal to MSAA slider and in the ready function we'll just go vsync toggle dot set pressed no signal 
and we'll pass in os.isvsync enabled. If I can spell it. And the same with fxaa toggle, same exact function, set value, uh, set pressed, excuse me, no signal. Um, and we'll just go get viewport dot get use fxaa and then lastly we'll go msaa msa slider dot set value and in brackets there we'll just pass in get viewport dot get msa msaa and just close that bracket and then that way whatever settings you've got in your project will just follow through into your game so vsync will be enabled fxaa will be enabled and this will be zero so if i change any of those settings in the project so if i just go msaa up to four times use fxaa and uh, vsync under window use vsync i'll turn that off and now we'll have you know this set to this you know like just follow through so that's uh, very necessary when you're setting up these kind of settings okay so that's how we do it okay so I hope that was helpful uh, so these are the last the visual settings that I'm going to demonstrate if you have any others that you want me to check out and see if I can make a video on let me know down in the comments otherwise please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one